What about the um, audience? Are there big uh, differences between the audiences in uh, Finland or Poland and in Germany or is it just the same? Uh, they act different maybe. And in, I don't know how to describe that. Maybe in Germany they're, they're more like checking us out there. Uh -huh. In Finland there there's quite a lot more people coming to this stage and getting crazy and they're more drunk in I there. See, yeah. <laughs> in here they're more like checking the band out uh -huh. and, and, and well they're noisy which is something I like but, but not going like totally out of their minds. I see, I see. Uh, what about the, um, the, the fans? Uh, do you have more fans here in Germany or uh, more in, in Finland? And uh, how can you uh, take a look at uh, people who are very close to the band? Um, well, in Germany, of course, this is a way bigger country than Finland. You have like 82 million people in here. Was it 82? I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, in Finland we have like 5 million people in the whole country. Mm. But uh, in Finland we're in a way we're kind of spoiled because we're in a very nice situation because we're like so-called number one band in there yeah. we're, and then we're selling platinum in there yeah. and mm -hmm. stuff so in that sense it's in a way good thing for us to come here to, to be not that spoiled we have to work on that so mm -hmm. we're we're not getting used to that okay we're so good and we're so cool and everybody loves us so yeah. it, i think it would make whatever band a bit lazy if they're year after year they could be dangerous yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so in here it's it's cool to to know that you have to work your ass off yeah. to get people who like you and notice you and stuff Mm -hmm. But we have hell of a lot of fans in here too, which is, of course, something great, and I'm pretty appreciated and flattered about that. And, and German fans actually fly to Finland to see us in there. I see. Mm. I've met some 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 girls outside uh, who uh, who come from Rostock, which is on the east side of Germany, mm -hmm. and which is far away from here, and yeah. uh, they follow the whole tour. And, uh, yeah, I met a couple of them. That's amazing. Uh, if people do so. When I was younger, I, I had my, my, my big groups too, but mm. I never thought about following a group all over the country. And it, uh, it must be amazing for, for someone who is a rock musician to see people who are doing this. Yeah, stuff. that's something I, I don't really know what to say about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if there's someone who loves our band so much like, yeah. like that, that, she's gonna tattoo our logo to yeah. her arm and, and following us everywhere, it's something you can just say like, thanks, cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something like, I don't have words for that, I mean, really. <laughs> is it uh, sometimes that you think, hey, this, is, uh, uh, this must be the feeling of a rock star when, when uh, girls, especially girls, um, w when I was a musician, thousands of years ago, uh, I always wanted to, to be that kind of rock star that any, every uh, lovely girl uh, would, uh, would love to, to, to meet me. What about yours? Is it something uh, which bothers you, where you think, yeah, this is nice, this is interesting, or is it just that you say, oh, this is rock business, this, this is a must then? Uh, well, it doesn't bother me. I mean, how could I complain if there's people who likes our band yeah. and stuff? Of course, it's 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 fucking awesome but what can i say i mean of course it's great uh -huh. i mean oh you could say i fuck them all <laughs> uh, that's a different kind of question i mean uh if there's fans who likes the band it doesn't yeah. necessarily mean that they want to fuck the guys mm. it, that's mostly the croupies job to do yeah, yeah. and that's a bit different kind of thing croupies mostly want to have people from magazines and from TV no matter what they're doing I mean yeah, it yeah. could be me or or some whatever ice hockey player if he's <laughs> yeah. famous yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. fans is something who truly loves the the music and the band and stuff mm -hmm. but I don't have anything against the croupy idea I mean if they want to have their whatever guy to to have a new stamp in their stamp collection yeah, yeah, yeah. and and if that person wanna have sex so both of them are happy so I'm not gonna but, judge but I think that. This is more a, 
70s I think but today you have to look at AIDS and all these things and I, think I don't know if it's uh, a 70s thing I wasn't touring <laughs> at that time but I can tell you that there's hell of a lot group is existing yeah, yeah, yeah. now 2002 um, hmm there's what quite I, many of what, them what I can say about the 69 eyes what's very special is that it is a band which with a very sexy image a lot of uh, uh, women uh, very interested in this band because they say they look also very good. They, you have a lot of other bands, ex, uh, gothic bands or rock bands, whatever, mm. um, which, with, with normal people, but, but you all are very much in shape. And uh, you look uh, well, interesting. You. And uh, is this uh, something you, you, you think about? Do you make any work out or is it just a thing that happens? Well, this is such a cliche, but <laughs> I and all of us have always been looking like this, maybe different, shorter, mm. longer hair or something, but it's it's something I did my hair hair in a weird way and I, I, I messed up my face with makeup when I was at school, when I was mm -hmm. 13, 12, mm -hmm. so it's not something that, okay, now we're gonna have this band and we're gonna build up this cool image for the uh -huh. band and stuff. It's mustn't mustn't be an image. It could be that uh, you, you look this way and, and, and people uh, regard how you look and say, oh, it is uh, very sexy, it is very, very, very nice, it's very dark. It, uh, uh, I think it is a, a thing which is very necessary for to be a rock and roll band. I, I think it's uh, important, but, yeah. but I, I bet that you can, I mean, I can tell when there's a band who's, who's fake that the whole image thing is just yeah. something that you can yeah. tell that okay these guys is that they're going to the backstage and put on all their stuff for the gig and, and stuff you can see that and I bet our fans can see that uh -huh. I mean I bet they can believe that when I'm at home on Monday morning and, and making my coffee I'm not I don't look that different there. Mm. I see, I see. Well, well, on Monday morning when I do my coffee, I look very different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to well, this is pretty early for me today too, so... I see, I see. What, uh, who were your idols when you were younger? When I was younger, ah... Uh, I was in love with this Finnish band, Hannah Rocks. Ah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a, a, a bit close to, to uh, how they looked. The, the singer from Hannah Rocks, how was the name? Michael Monroe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He had a, a very uh, interesting image. He looked very, very good. Yeah, they were pre pretty different ah. those days. I was a bit too young to, to follow them, yeah, their yeah. gigs and stuff. And they actually broke up and everything before I was even even mm -hmm. in that age that I could go to the but they gigs were really and famous stuff. These yeah, they were. They were and they're still existing. And I, yeah. I'm been lucky enough to play with them and, and, and they're good friends of mine. Uh -huh. I see. But that was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Of course there was all these kiss and, and that kind of stuff and from the gothic side all of us lo loves all that old, old shit like Sisters of Mercy yeah, and, yeah. and cult is something we all yeah, love the cult, and yeah. stuff. Huh. We've been comparing us in our minds to cult, not because of the music, but in a in a the in, in the whole picture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you think that, because we've been every album we do, they sound quite a different from the previous one, and mm -hmm. that's something we we want to do. We want to go forward, and we don't want to be stuck in something. Yeah. I mean, nothing against. Ramones and ACDC, I love uh -huh. them, but it's not our job to make same album every time. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, if you think about Cult, which is that's just a fucking cool band, yeah, but absolutely. if you listen to their albums, they're so different. They had this ACDC kind of rock thing, mm -hmm. and after that, before that, there was this new romantic stuff, and yeah. and after that, there was like this. American I've, kind of stadium yeah, rock yeah. And, and whatever. I've seen uh, Ian Asbury in the cult uh, in 1984 at the first concert in Germany. Oh man. And, uh, and this, uh, it was absolutely amazing. Mm. We, we came there uh, for, for Talk Talk, Q and the Chameleons, yeah. and then the guy went on stage, yeah. pulled off his, his uh, head, the same thing that, that you had on your, on your head, uh -huh. and his haircut was so amazing. 
on one side black, on the other side white. Oh yeah, I and remember all around, those all pictures. Around. And um, cool. they only had a 20 minute set, and after that 20 minute okay. set, the guy went on stage and said, you have to go. And he said, we do not go. And he <laughs> was singing and singing, and then yeah. the guys came from the backstage and wanted to put him away, yeah. and he uh, got himself uh, the, the drum kit and threw him to them, well, I won't go, I won't go. <laughs> it was so absolutely cool. wonderful, very, yeah. very cool. Yeah. That was the first time I saw them, and after that yeah. I was a big fan from them, because it yeah. was so absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. That, that guy was absolutely pure. He jumped from the yeah. stage into the yeah. audience and all these things. Yeah. There was no image. There was. Yeah. It was very, very pure. This is, yeah. this is very, I think this is. A, he is one of the musicians who is very close to the real rock music. To that yeah, rock, that's what I, what I think too. Yeah. I mean, uh, I saw them in this huge stadium gig in Finland. Yeah. They were supporting Metallica, and of course, it was like really bad place for them because they have different audience and yeah. their gig sucked. So after the gig we went to party in this small club in Helsinki and they just they were so pissed off because the gig was so bad. Yeah. So they just were begging the, the club owner, can we just jam a bit? And they made like two hour gig with some other band's yeah. equipment like just like that and went there and that was one of the best gigs I've ever mm -hmm. seen. Mm -hmm. So that's something they didn't have to do that and that, that wasn't a promote, promotion kind of thing for the band, but they did it because they love their stuff. Mm. I th that is one of what I always thought, they, they mm. love to make uh, music. Mm. It is not the thing, being a rock star, it is being a musician. Yeah. One, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe one compares to the other, very good, but, uh, but uh, sometimes it is uh, this pure thing, yeah. what, what is yeah. missing by some bands. Have you heard that Ian Asbury uh, should uh, uh, take the place of Jim Morrison in a reunion yeah, of heard the Doors? That. Yeah, huh? yeah, and almost every other interview I'm doing, everybody asks my opinion yeah. about that. I don't. I, I'm a huge Doors fan. And I, well, I, we all uh, are too. <laughs> and uh, I, it is something I could not understand because I think the, the members of the Doors today yeah. are old men. Yeah, really yeah. old men. Yeah. And uh, they only were great uh, that time when Jim Morrison was on their yeah. side. Yeah. Um, the last singer from 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 uh, the Doors was uh, an interesting. It was Iggy Pop. Uh, he was yeah. Uh, uh -huh. uh, when when uh, Jim Morrison was dead, they uh, tried to to uh, find a new uh, beginning, and uh, uh, they uh, casted uh, Iggy Pop. I Iggy didn't Pop even got the, know uh, that. Got the the, the leather pants from Morrison. Oh, which he has I left heard in LA, that story. And he put yeah. it on, and then he threw it away and said, "I will never do that job." Hey, he, one concert he did, and yeah. after that. Uh, a half concert, and okay. after that he, he said, no, I don't, I don't want to be this this kind of musician. Okay. It's very interesting. So I, I think the doors uh, have to be um, something with Jim Morrison, but not with yeah. yeah. Is, uh, I, I, I can't believe that uh, Ian Espiro should do that yeah. thing. But anyway, if you're a fan, and if that's a, something like a sacred yeah. thing yeah, for yeah, you, absolutely. but you know what, you still have the old albums, you don't have to go see them, yeah, old guys right. singing with, with some yeah. whoever singer and stuff, you still have them, uh -huh. you can keep that, no one's taking that away yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with whatever KISS fan you are and now you go to see them when they're like fi fucking 55 and fat but and everything and they suck, but you still have the early albums if you want to have them. Yeah. Have to go there and listen to these news. 